In this video, I want to talk about how you get an API key from Google that you can use for maps. So I, I go to my web browser here and I just type in console.developers.google.com. It will actually end up choo choosing a default project. So I have a bunch of, you know, different projects that I've sort of set up. You can set up a a test project or whatever, maps demo. And uh, if you click enable APIs and services, there's this sort of list of services and you can say, oh, you know, Google, uh, Google Maps Android API, which is already enabled. The thing that's confusing here is that these enabled APIs are for the project itself. Now, the project can have credentials like a key. So let's create a, con a credential that's an API key. So we just created this API key. It's created using random, random data. Hopefully they're using the Intel read random instruction. So You know, let's, uh, let's not restrict this key. So, so maybe this is the deal. So if I don't restrict this key, then I can go in here to my maps application. This violates the rule of always know whether a demo is going to work. So I'm going to replace this old thing with this newly generated key, hit rebuild. Let's see what happens. Um, in the meantime, Uh, if I do want to add restrictions, I come here to API restrictions and sorry, if, if I actually want to add APIs, I come to API restrictions. I still don't, I, I just have no understanding of how this is called API restrictions, but that's how you add the uh, ability to make some calls on an API. It's API key too. Let's see what happened. This actually looks pretty good. So maybe, maybe, let's enter an address. Okay, if this works, then our, oh, look at that. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so that was a key that was unrestricted. We popped it into our uh, XML file and we are off to the races. So the thing is you don't want an unrestricted key. Unrestricted keys are bad. So you want to restrict it. Here application restrictions, none. And so, yeah, I think because the application has no restrictions, you do in this maps demo project have to have Sorry, it's in the dashboard. This is where it works because an unrestricted key gets these abilities from the project. But a restricted key, and I can go to the Android apps. Now we have to add package name and fingerprint. This is what I showed you from before. I'll just uh, I'll reprise this. Uh, go in here, go in here, tasks, Android. Signing report. Okay, and from the manifest file of here, I know what the name of this application is edu utexas.maps demo. This is my certificate. So, with all this goodness together, we come back here, 
Certificate fingerprint shot one. Uh, boom. Edu. Texas. Maps demo. And save. Okay. Now this is restricted. Uh, let's turn this back to app and rebuild. And this should still continue to work. Oh, I tried to do a cut and paste from Android and it was a disaster. Okay, let's see. A300 Speedway. I don't know if that's a good comma. It might not be. Okay, I mean, that still works. It's a little bit hard to know if that is because it is still an unrestricted key and we're in the five minute window and it hasn't updated or if it really did update and we did the restrictions right but i'm pretty sure we did do the restrictions right at this point i've done it a bunch of times now you notice that in this project i have multiple keys and these keys are totally independent and here i'm, I'm just going to nuke this key um right i mean it's it's been used you know, so, oh, it's been used one time. Hmm, well, right, it's, it's telling you, hey, don't nuke this key because this key is important, but I don't care about that key. I care about this key. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm just, at this point, I'm just, you know, we're just free foreman, man. Psychedelic. All right, here we go. So I'm back, I'm back to this key. Anyway, that's how to get a key and how to enable it uh, to serve maps. And you need that uh, if you're working from a UTexas IP address because keys, uh, um, sorry. Uh, yeah, you, you have to have a, <coughs> a key for those maps because the uh, unrestricted use that you get from Google for uh, just a random IP gets used up at, at U Texas quickly. All right, thank you. Bye.